I didn't mean to wake it. I was on the run, a slave running from his master. I had no reason to run. My master's not a bad man. But it just got into me like a voice, nagging at me day and night. Run, it said, break loose, be a free man. Those words burning in me like a fever. The only way to stop it was to run. So I ran and I kept on running. I left behind the places where people lived, made for the wastes where I wouldn't be found. Crags, boulders and waves crashing over cliffs. And there on the cliff top, a hill smooth and round and a huge rock set in one side. There was a hole in the rock just big enough to squeeze through. I crept inside, followed a low passageway sloping downwards. Then I saw a dim light glimmering ahead. I went towards it, came to a stone doorway. The light came from beyond it. So I stepped through and I was in a vast cavern and it was filled with gold. It lay there before me, a huge creature coiled beside the treasure. Its scales shone in the light of the gold, or did the gold shine in the light of the scales? It didn't move. Its eyes were closed. It seemed to be sleeping. I crept closer. The heat that came off it like it was some kind of furnace. Water dripping from the roofs rose up in clouds of steam. I reached my hand towards it. I felt the energy, the power packed inside. A little nearer and I could have touched it. My fingertips just that far off. I didn't touch it. I drew my hand back, crept out of the cavern, made my way back to the entrance. I was outside again in sunlight and fresh air. I stood on the cliff top. I heard the sea below. And it was only then that I realized what I'd done. When I looked down, I saw it. I swear I don't remember taking it. But there it was in my hand, a golden cup and the dragon woke.